So for the last few years, maybe four or five seasons, we've been building caterpillar tunnels, which are kind of the small single bowed tunnels over certain patches of our peonies in order to try to push blooms for earlier cuts, particularly for Mother's Day sales. And this year we decided to go a little, a step further and we built a farmer's friend, which is the tunnel that I'm in right now, over four rows of peonies. We tried really hard to be particular about what varieties we were picking so that we would hopefully have early varieties to start with that would push blooms even earlier or potentially at least in line for Mother's Day. So I'm excited to see the results and I wanted to show you a little bit of what we are seeing a few months into this project. So right now we're at the very first week in March and these are two, this is one of the varieties. We have two or three different varieties in this hoop, but you can see these are fully fleshed out. Like right there, tall enough to be completely mature and they have nice buds on them. Um, we've got, you know, some time before they're ready to cut, but they just look really healthy. This particular variety is Coral Charm, so already an earlier variety. And then I'm excited to also have some etched salmons in here where uh, hopefully we'll get those a little bit earlier. Ooh, there's a slug in there. I'm going to get it out. Okay. There. Important to note that there are those things that happen in hoops, like slugs like it in hoops a lot more. And then we also get some fungal issues that we need to scout for and be checking in on. Um, this, I suspect, is probably damage from cold weather. We had a lot of really cold weather this last week, uh, which is not, in and of itself not horrible. I mean, the plant will survive even getting tip burned like this. But what we want to watch for is then the development of botrytis on those leaves. So that little kind of fuzzy white stuff in there, that's no good. We want to get rid of that. We don't want that to be spreading around. So scouting through the plants and making sure that we're keeping our disease issues to a minimum, especially with the lowered circulation in the hoop is really important. We will lift the sides on this to create more circulation, especially we're supposed to have a couple of warm sunny days coming up, which will be great for the plants, but also great for the, the fungus and the botrytis. So important to keep an eye out for those things. Overall, we're pretty pleased with how this little experiment is going. I will be sure to check back in and keep you apprised of how things go throughout the rest of the season. So check back for that video. In the meantime, thanks for swinging by and we'll see you then.